I think at the moment there is a big chance that the drone market is going to massively dry up uh, compared to what it was either last year or the year before uh, that. Um, at the moment, the main player, DJI, uh, they have brought out all their drones. Their drones are fantastic. Their image quality is superb. Their capabilities are phenomenal. But their costs are high. The dangers of them, as in flyaways or birds attacking or just batteries failing and dropping out of the sky, uh, are still around. And uh, when you're spending over a thousand pounds or thousands of dollars uh, for something which you possibly only use ten times a year, it's something which I think is far more prevalent on the second hand market at the moment. Additionally, um, the aviation authorities in the respective countries are finally catching up. They're starting to uh, employ some um, measures to take some control over the drone market as well. Um, in the UK, there's a, the CAA, the Civil Aviation Authority, where you now have to do a mandatory uh, test and pay a fee, I think it's £9, pounds, um, for flying any drone. Whether it's it's for fun, whether it's commercial, whatever, it doesn't matter. You've got to type in all your details, all your credit card numbers, all your um, personal information so you can fly your toy drone the four days a year that you get to do it. Uh, additionally, there's such a steep learning curve with uh, drones. Uh, a friend of mine, he's gone and bought the Mavic 2 Pro and uh, he's like, oh, I was testing it out, having great fun. Um, I think it was like maybe his fourth time flying it. Boom, crashed it, needs a new gimbal. Uh, and that that doesn't come out cheap. So the few days that you get to fly, certainly in the UK, when the weather is good enough, uh, and the few places where you can do it where you're not uh, restricted, the likelihood of crashing is very high. So effectively, fl drone flying becomes, like a professional drone pilot, it becomes as little amount of movement as possible. It is literally... Turn it on, fly it up, get that shot, then fly a bit forward, get that shot, point camera straight down, take a photo, got that shot. That's pretty much what commercial drone operators do. It's as little fun as it can possibly be, <laughs> to be as safe as possible. And it's like, I'm just going to fly about 20 feet that way, 20 feet back the way, maybe do a bit of a curve pan, but other than that, don't need to do anything else. And that's how you get, well... That's how you get the most professional looking images. You don't have it actually flying around doing all these different things. It's literally just about five different movements. Uh, pan up, pan down, uh, zoom in, zoom out, maybe slight rotate uh, and stuff like that. So uh, so then when people find out that actually that's the safest way to fly your drone, it ends up not being that fun. Uh, and when people go, I've just spent one and a half grand on this and it doesn't work. And then, <laughs> then on top of that, not on top of like, so the weather, attacking birds, falling leaves, random propellers falling off, random battery connections just failing. Uh, GPS is another one. So I think uh, GoPro Karma, uh, yeah, who still flies a GoPro Karma? Nobody. Uh, these, yeah, so worldwide issue. We never bothered backing up any of our files to update with the latest GPS signals or some something like that. Uh, it's not important because nobody has them. But it no, it just can't fly. <laughs> You're like, oh, great. Uh, again, uh, it's so software dependent as well that if there's a glitch anywhere in the software and a bit of GPS goes wrong, it can end up having the drone just do a flyaway. My, uh, a person, because I sold my drone, uh, the person who bought my drone, he flew his DJI Mavic uh, and instead of with an iPad or a, a high-end mobile phone, he tried it with a... a uh, Amazon Kindle Fire. Didn't know you could get software on that. Well, here's my advice. Don't try and fly it with a Kindle Fire because he literally saying he flew it up and about away. <laughs> He's like, where's it going? Where's it going? I was just like, returned home, returned home. Did nothing, just kept on flying away. Uh, whether that was the Kindle fault, whether it was a drone malfunction, we don't know because he never found the drone. It just flew off. Additionally, when there are the threats of drones just flying off you can see when there's now stories of man find 
$20,000 after his runaway drone landed at a major airport. Okay, you're probably thinking, oh yeah, that's, that's not going to happen all the time. You're right, but you don't want to be that guy that suddenly has to deal with a $20,000 drone. Additionally, uh, there was something quite good. Let's see, I think um, a model just got punched in the face by a drone. So again, they're not making, they're not having a lot of good good luck at the moment, uh, drones. Uh, so with the, uh, also the Federal Aviation, hold on, did I get that one? Uh, yeah, so, that, so again, DJI don't want to get in trouble from the aviation authorities. So they are themselves highly restricting where uh, your drones are allowed to fly. For good reasons. It makes it safer for people in actual helicopters or actual airplanes. Um, so, so granted, it's a good move. However, it means that the purchasing pe the people that would buy these are amateurs or doing it for fun. Suddenly, buy it and then they go home and they go, "Let's go fly it in the park." Oh no, can't do that at all. Like they're showing you all these maps um, of your geo zones where you're allowed to and not allowed to do it. So, I think that is going to be. And again, in, in America, so many of the national parks are. Uh, no drones allowed uh, situation, in America uh, at least. Uh, I've seen quite a few in Australia as well saying no drones for the fear of fire causing, as in if a drone crashes and a battery does something, there could be a fire going on there. So I just think uh, drones are amazing. Uh, the functionality are fantastic. I think the idea of Amazon dropping parcels by drone is never going to happen. Um, and I think it's just going to be get more and more restricted or require more and more of your personal information. Um, so it just, it just means, I think everybody that's signed up to this, if somebody flies their plane into an airport, suddenly everybody that's put in their information suddenly gets a phone call and a visit from the police. I'd be a bit nervous of that. Additionally, here's, here's a secret tip. At the airports now, they have... Uh, drone sensors. Uh, I've got a friend in the police who's saying that in the air traffic control tower they've got a thing which they can sense when a drone is turned on. Whatever bleep it sends out to get its GPS or something, there's about a four kilometre radius um, of where they can see people are even just turning on their drones. Additionally, some UK airports are getting the uh, drones that fly along and like attack drones, which will f uh, fire out the kind of net to catch your drone. I thought that's nonsense. Yeah, it doesn't really work. No, no, it, it's fully autonomous drone. It doesn't require a pilot. It doesn't um, uh, need somebody to try and see it through their little goggles to try and do it. No, it's fully autonomous. We'll lock onto the other drone's uh, GPS signal, go after it, and shoot it down. I was like, oh wow, <laughs> that's kind of cool. That's amazing. So, yeah, I think. Um, the restrictions, the big brother watching you kind of situations going there. I just think drones and, and the, the crashing and failure of fun uh, in them after a while, unless you're a hardcore uh, photographer and, and money means nothing to you, it really ends up just being an expensive toy which isn't fun that you can only use maybe once a month throughout the year. Um, so yeah, I think drones have didn't really get to their heyday fast enough and everyone's just kind of going, nah, no, not going to bother anymore. So unfortunately, if you're getting into drone photography, you can get amazing shots, but you're in a lot of risk of losing drones, losing money, losing licenses, uh, losing freedom. <laughs> so yeah, if you've still got a drone, my personal advice is get it up for second hand. I did that with mine, and uh, there's a nice weight lifted off my shoulders of going, I don't have to deal with this anymore. Tell me what you think. Cheers. Bye-bye.